Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Three new stories. Firstly, concerns shown by Somali land expressed with Turkey uh, after Turkey hosted Ethiopian and Somalia's foreign minister. Secondly, uh, there are small issues emerging in Salamti where Tigray IDPs are returning. Uh, IDPs had to wait for hours yesterday before. Uh, the rehabilitation uh, could be completed. Local elders uh, raised some questions. Discussions were held again yesterday. Secondly, uh, Fano fighters entered a key town in West Gojum a few hours ago. Around 24 hours ago, they entered. Firstly, viewers, uh, Somali land very concerned about talks in Turkey between Ethiopia and Somalia. The two held discussions there, Ethiopia and Somalia mediated by Turkey. And they agreed on meeting again in September. On the 2nd of September, they'll meet again. A joint statement came yesterday. Uh, Turkey hoped that uh, the two sides will be able to find a solution and talks will continue. Somali land concerned. Why? Because uh, Turkey's mediation is delaying. Turkey's mediation between Ethiopia and Somalia is delaying the implementation of Ethiopia, Somali land. Somali land was hoping that in coming days and weeks, the MOU will be implemented. Dr. Isa Kaid said uh, a few weeks ago that within two months, the final agreement will be signed between Ethiopia and Somali land. Ethiopia would have access to sea. It would establish a naval base in Somali land whenever a recognition from Ethiopia. Ethiopia would recognize my land as a country. But it seems that now the implementation of MOU will be delayed. Why? Because the two sides, Ethiopia and Somalia, yesterday announced that they'll meet again in Turkey on the 2nd of September, after two months. It means in the next two months, there'll be no uh, signing of uh, final agreement between Ethiopia and Somaliland. Dr. Isa Kaye, Somaliland's foreign minister, met with Turkish Council General in Hargasa yesterday in charge of Turkish Consulate in Hargasa, uh, is Turkish Council General. He met with Dr. Isa Kay. Agenda, obviously, the agenda was uh, the talks between Ethiopia and Somalia. Somali land is asking Turkey that Turkey should not delay the implementation of Ethiopia, Somali, land, MOU indirectly because talks between Ethiopia and Somali being held in Turkey are leading to indirect delay in the implementation of Ethiopia, Somali, land, MOU. No statement issued by Turkish Council General Dr. Isa Kaid only confirmed his meeting with Turkish Council General. Uh, Somali land uh, criticized. Turkey Somalia Defense Treaty. If you remember, when Somalia signed defense pact with Turkey, I think it was January or February, uh, Somali land reacted to it, uh, accused Hassan Sheikh of selling Somali uh, assets and resources to foreigners. Now, uh, and uh, Somaliland vowed back then that it will not allow anyone to enter its territorial. Let's see. Definitely, there are concerns now in Somali land that uh, Turkey is indirectly delaying the implementation of Ethiopia Somali land. Secondly, viewers, Tagaray. Uh, you know that IDPs are returning to their homes in Salamti after Tregarai, Amhara region, Salamti elders, ENDF reached uh, 
uh, an agreement and two days ago the return of idps formally kicked off hundreds have crossed tack as a in buses from shere and bagna towards salamti but uh, small issues still uh, emerging yesterday delay was seen in the return of idps when idps entered salamti because the local elders of salamti raised questions about militia members tigray militia members tigray uh, security officials that why are they entering salamti and some of them were armed too these people armed militia members armed endf mem armed uh, tigray security officials they are original residents of the area tigray says they have every right to return to their homes and they own weapons for years they have been in possession of these weapons but salamti elders objected to it they said no armed men can enter salamti if uh, they want to enter salamti they'll have to hand over their weapons to local tribal uh, local salamti elders for melium haras endf intervened talks went on for several hours last night no agreement could be reached unarmed people were allowed to enter but armed militia members were stopped by salamti elders red lock uh, emerged yesterday last night especially uh, and militia members were stopped what happened after the runo all of the incoming videos uh, it's not that uh, all idps are not being allowed to return to their homeless left only armed men are being stopped by local elders in salamti reportedly stopped from entering the area thirdly viewers uh, amhara fano fighters entered a key town in gojam yesterday after fighting which went on for several hours reportedly Fano fighters managed to enter this important town. This town is situated in West Gojam zone of the Amhara region, situated along the main road which connects Gojam with Bahidar with uh, Romia. Finote Salam is the name of this town. If you remember, uh, don't strikes were conducted on Fano fighters in Finote Salam a few months ago. Some civilians died. Fano fighters died too in those precision drone strikes. The town has changed hands several times in the last one year or so. Fano took control of the town several times. They retreated, military took over, and Fano returned. It has been happening for uh, for almost a year now. That Fano fighters enter this town when when they come under pressure, they retreat. This town is very strategic. It is very close to the main road. That is why uh, its location is significant. Meanwhile, we're still waiting for official statement from the uh, Firamamu. Uh, most sources confirming that he has joined Fano, but confirmation from the horse's mouth still awaited. People say he is sick. Uh, he is suffering from diabetes. He has uh, health condition. Uh, so he. will be a burden not an asset for fano i believe that uh, diabetes is not a serious uh, problem by the way uh, it can easily be managed if he has diabetes only it wouldn't be a big obstacle a huge obstacle to his uh, activities diabetes can be managed uh, i think his just his presence his mere presence is going to be very helpful for fano fighters this just announcement of uh, his joining fano would have uh, immense impact on fano's uh, acceptance in broader amhara community whether he is in a good shape good condition or not in terms of health i think uh, his joining fano is a key development thank you